Oh, the stairs. She will not go down the stairs from the upper level to the lower level. Or come up either. She says they are little and long. That's right. They are steep. Little and long is what she said. I, th I think as I'm seeing it through her eyes, it, it she doesn't think there's enough space on, on, are the steps narrow? Yes. Okay. She doesn't think there's enough space on the steps. And, and her perception is, it's like she's going to just kind of go right down. Uh -huh. And coming up, it's like, coming up, it's like a climb. You know, it, like it's, it's she might not she might lose her footing. Yeah, it, it's a footing mm -hmm. thing. It, it's mm -hmm. are the carp are the stairs carpeted? Or? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. She just she just feels like she's it's it's it makes her anxious. I can feel the anxiety about those steps. If they're wider and they're not as steep, um, she's okay. There are other steps she doesn't like. Right. There are other steps she doesn't like. Right, and I notice they're the ones that are more closed in. Mm-hmm. 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 But sometimes she will go down those steps. These she puts the brakes on and you're not going to move her. She says there's another way to get down those steps. <laughs> She's right. <laughs> She's right. So what's the big deal, right? Talk a little bit about PJ. PJ. Because that was, that was PJ the first was time that he, we first really talked right. about your animals. PJ was my rescue also. Found him over in Baldwin, Maryland along with Biscuit. Biscuit was the blind and deaf dog right. that I adopted. Right. And I was looking, I had just lost um, Bowser, and I was looking for a dog to replace Bowser. Mm -hmm. And I found PJ at the shelter. Took him a year to accept me. It was a mm -hmm. long time. He was a real street dog. He was found wandering the streets of Towson, Maryland. Mm -hmm. And the um, when I got him, um, I didn't have a backyard that was fenced in yet, so he had to go out on a leash. And when I would take him out, he would find a bush and literally back into the bushes. Mm. And when I talked to the vet about that, he said that was very indicative of a street dog. Mm -hmm. They would back in have to and watch, look around, watch, yeah. watching yeah. to make sure that he Because it's a such a vulnerable, yeah. you know, when they're, mm -hmm. when they're there. And it took him all years before, like before, that before he would him. stop that. Yeah. When you, before you felt secure. Yeah. That, that's the beauty of it. So good. So that at least is something that I know she's not ill or she's not. No, no, she's not. You know, I mean, she, she's not peeing right in front of me. I'm not getting that no. she's ill. Okay. No. See, no. if they pee right in front of you and they stare at you and they pee and say, um, excuse me, there's something wrong here, okay. you pay attention. Okay. When they pee, like, um, surreptitiously, yeah. um, they're still saying something is wrong, but generally when an animal pees inappropriately, they're they're angry about something. Okay. Angry or scared, and when they poop inappropriately, they're upset or scared. Okay. So she's is like she's making she's this, making her making it very yeah, clear she's yeah. and she's not an angry cat. It's like no. it's almost like she's passive. It's a passive aggressive way. Of, okay. In human terms, if you that wanna, makes sense. If you want to anthropomorphize it, mm -hmm. it, it, that that's that's really what you're looking at here, I think. Okay. Well, that makes a lot of sense, so thank you. You're welcome. As always. Yeah. <laughs>